Morning, guys. It's Sunday morning at Xenia, and uh, we're going to redo this recording while well, it's quiet here for a moment. We want to have a look at the changes, and what are the biggest changes between the 6000 series and the 8000 series? And right here we have a 8600. Looks like every other, like a 6600, but it's an 8600. So the highlights are we get a four times faster CPU. We get a twice faster FPGA where all the heavy lifting is done which really gives us the ability to move forward in the, into the next number of years and new features, new functionality. We get adaptive pre-distortion built into the radio. The hardware's there at 100 watts. It just plug and play, you're ready to go. If you add amplifiers or samplers that hook up, the uh, big question is how do we get the data back to the radio? Well, we use the, one of the receiving ports. And what if I use my receiving ports for receiving antennas and transverters? Well, we have a solution for that where we'll, we'll have a, the sample, we'll have what's called a TR relay. In transmit, it'll be used for adaptive pre-distortion, and for reception, it will be used for um, your receiving antenna. So you don't lose access to a port. Uh, new radios come with a two-year warranty as well. Uh, you can extend that to four years. We are looking at trade-in programs. So if you've emailed us already, give us a week or so. We have lots and lots of emails for Andy and I to get through, literally hundreds. So we thank you for your support. What else do we have built in? We have a GPS built in, and that's used for um, frequency accuracy. The GPS gives you half a hertz uh, resolution or stability, stability or frequency precision at 50 megs. So frequencies lower than that, far more accurate. And you see this little stubby antenna here, Andy? Thanks very much. Uh, that gives you, uh, the GPS will probably function for most of you right in your shack without having any of you to run an outside antenna. Will it work in every case? Of course not, but it is a good chance. Uh, and that's good. NTP server, yeah, not a big deal in the software world, but now you can you can have all your devices reference your radio for time standards, which is uh, pretty cool and great. And then if you look at the back, um, this is uh, this is the back of a 6400 or an 8400, sorry. There's, you know, we've got plugs here. A lot of this stuff is just brand new prototypes and done, but with these are working radios. Uh, the 10 meg stuff's been moved to the bottom. This, you'll see this is a one pulse per second. Uh, that is, this comes from our commercial radios. That doesn't connect anything because the commercial radio guys want one pulse per second. And a lot of it's fairly the same. If you have uh, an M model, uh, you'll have HDMI out like you did before. If you have a 600 or a model, like an 8600, you get balanced mic input still like before you don't lose any of the feature functionality. And I think, Andy, that's, uh, did I forget anything? That's uh, at the high level. That's what it gets you. Um, we're taking emails and uh, we're happy to get back to you. Just give us some time. It's like I said, Sunday morning. Uh, the response has been phenomenal. We have blown away by the people that have come to visit us, say hi. And um, we've met some wonderful people and we've met some wonderful customers. and. Uh, if you hear Sunday, come and see us. 7-3, guys.